Hi everyone, it's me again, your girl Pretty, here to show you how easy it can be to create your very own calm down bottles for very active toddlers. <laughs> Let's do this. First, let us read a question from a parent. Dear Pretty and Ames Global Team, my toddler is a very hyperactive child. He has always been this way. It is hard to get him to settle or calm down for anything. Meal time, bath time, even breastfeeding time needs a tighter grip. A few days ago, his brother was playing with him and shook a bottle of soda pop and put it in front of him. I swear I had never seen him so calm and paying attention to one specific thing. He was stuck watching the foam and bubbles in the bottles diffuse. And lately, it has been his favorite thing to get him to calm down. How can I use this strategy everywhere without always carrying soda pop bottles and shaking it all the time? From Miss Walls. Hi Mrs. Walls and thank you so much for your question. It's really exciting to stumble upon something that actually works for our children. And so well done to you guys on trying different things that actually works for your little ones. So some children actually do have the tendency to get overstimulated or overexcited and they find it very hard to calm down. This is because of all of the sensory input that they are getting. His big brother actually introduced a sensory bottle to him. This is an actual thing and it's one of those tools that work like magic to regulate busy children. Now since soda pop works so well, I bet a sensory bottle will work even better. Sensory bottles are clear bottles that are filled up with water and a variety of decorative items such as glitter, pom-pom, beads and so on. These bottles help stimulate the child's senses with the movement of water and tiny colorful things floating inside. And you don't have to worry about your child choking on the tiny objects because the tiny little objects will be tightly sealed inside the bottle. The amazing thing about these bottles is that they provide stimulation for the kids who need sensory stimulation. So for these children, you can make these bottles very nice, busy and colorful looking for them to play with. This will provide them with a sensory experience that will benefit their developing brain. And for the other children who are already quite stimulated, you can use the sensory bottles as a peaceful object that will help them to calm down and focus their attention. This is because when you shake the bottle, everything in the bottle jumps up. And so as the bottle clears, so do their minds. So the way you choose to make your bottle will all depend on the child that you are making it for. Is the aim of the sensory bottle to stimulate the child or is it to calm them down? So are you ready to make sensory bottles? Let's do this.
<laughs> that was so easy. Now remember, the key factors of the successful implementation of any strategy is the three C's. Child-specific and interest-based all the time, clear and concise instructions and execution, and lastly, but definitely not least, consistency is key. Goodbye everyone, and I will see you real soon for more fun and easy to do tips around the home environment.